Now we turn to that airline pilot coming forward to confess and sound an alarm, saying that he and his other pilot were supposed to be at the controls of a jumbo jet, but they were both so tired they fell asleep. Their story tonight raising new concern about the stress on pilots in the air. And here is ABC's David Curley. Remarkably, the two pilots, already severely fatigued, asleep at the same time. That's right, a British Airbus A330, which can carry more than 300 passengers, on autopilot with both pilots sleeping. We only know of this because one of the pilots self-reported the incident of six weeks ago, admitting the two pilots had only five hours sleep over two nights because of long shifts. Even though British pilots are allowed to take naps, that country's pilots association says its government is too complacent when it comes to pilot fatigue. Here in the United States, a different story after this deadly Colgan air crash in Buffalo four years ago. 49 people on board were killed. Pilot fatigue was one of the contributing factors to that crash, which led to sweeping changes for American pilots. They must have a 10 hour minimum rest between flying days, flight time limited to eight to nine hours a day, and they're required to have 30 consecutive hours off every week. But even that may not be enough. Plane makers and airlines are tonight looking for ways to put technology in the cockpit, which will tell if a pilot is fatigued and then keep that pilot awake. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.